We're trying out the bull nose addition to these lower legs. I have no idea how this thing's gonna work. The water today is so crystal clear, but you'll see the bull nose in there barely touches the water. Um, I assume when my big body gets in there, it's gonna push down and give me a little more guidance. The whole plan here is that if I'm in a current and I don't want a motor, will this help steer? The one thing about the Frontier, there's no rudder. It's a big girl, she gets pushed around a lot with the wind. Um, but hey, it looks cool, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work right, so. Today we're running a 50cc uh, Honda four-stroke. We got literally flat conditions out here. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. Water's crystal clear. I guess there's really less human pollution, but uh, nonetheless, we're ready to go. We got mullet jumping in front of us. All right, let me give you guys a little instant, wow. Okay, so the bully note, or the bull nose, I guess it's called, is on the back of this motor, and I will tell you, you can turn this craft with maybe an inch or two on the tiller. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because if you turn too sharp, yeah, you may have a little fun going over. I don't know yet, so I'm gonna try it later. But uh, this thing keeps this boat in current. Right now, we have a current, but it keeps this Frontier straight. So I'm gonna give this thing a little bit of a push test it out we are at uh, Bill Sadowski's launch in Miami Florida heading out to the uh, Snowden's Dam so I haven't been down here yet but the water is absolutely stunning crystal clear got a mixture of brackish water so we should get a little salt and fresh as we get closer more salt I'm just gonna anchor down throw some lures basically screw around I had to get out of the house so I'm just going to kind of glide under this gas pipe here and just kind of check it out. And then I'll hit some performance numbers for you guys. And we will go from there. Well, you can actually see the dig marks from years ago when they created these canals. I've been here my entire life and I'm 49. I've never been back here. Super cool, man. Almost looks reef-like on the edges. This water is like a turquoise green. It gets a little deeper towards the center, but the sides are quite shallow, so I don't know what the depth is here. But yeah, we got mullet jump in here. I know there's manatees. I've seen those before a little bit farther in. But a very cool imagery of the roots. All right, let's get some speed here. About half throttle. the dam. I don't know if you guys can see the palm trees ahead, but the dam's right there. There's always a really cool fish there, so we're going to give it a whirl. Really cool vegetation around here. Man, this motor does not skip a beat. True fuel all the way, guys. No gas station fuel. I would say we're over six. I have no idea. I'll find out in a minute when I GPS it. What's interesting is I don't get the bow rise with that skeg. A little bit. cut this out and make my own beach this is like almost like the Bahamas and some of the inlets super cool you guys can see ahead there that's the uh, old Cutler Bridge at Snowden's Dam ahead of us not seeing anything jumping around here yet so I may do some more backcountry fishing today but I got to get some numbers for you guys 
Wow, this water is just absolutely stunning. First week of May, still somewhat under quarantine, but a little relaxed. So I am literally right now not even using gas, just turning it with the, uh, the skeg. Let's see what this thing can do. It's actually turning around on its own dime with the current. Let's see what happens. And let me tell you, this frontier is not easy to turn. It's like a bathtub, but I love it. All right, let me get out the GPS and get some video. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this thing. Wow, this thing turns like super sharp. Let's go, let's do a donut. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'm like quarter throttle right now. That's gay. Let me straighten out the camera so you guys can see. Wow, does that skeg help? I mean, little power, and I'm going right around winning all right so I have the uh, the phone on the floor here with the GPS live so I'm not gonna promise I won't Photoshop it so I will run and kind of peek at it and then uh, let's see what we got all right guys so true test here we are with current in a minute so I'm gonna tie up my paddle and we're gonna be good to go I don't let, let go of my throttle controls, but man, this thing's like self-guiding. That was weird. All right, so let's run this. Let's just run it. Let's see. A little different GPS. I don't know if the tech's better or worse. I have no idea. We got more power. I'm just trying to get around these corners. seeing any performance de degradation with the uh, the bull nose on it but I will tell you it turns a lot better so I, until I have a little more runtime on it I won't know now we're gonna go through some weed this scares the electric guys it doesn't scare gas guys especially with the two blade Tears it right up. It's not like a traditional blade, though. That I will tell you. Damn, this water is dirty. Wow. I am probably going to turn around and go after some clean water here. This is ridiculous. It is full of weed, man. It's like it's like out in the Gulf Stream, trolling for dolphins. Well, this isn't bad here. And we're right in the floors. I couldn't tell you where. Let's get let's, let's get some speed on it.
back the other way and probably get some of the brackish water. This, this is a bit dirty over here. Now this is with the blade on the back, the bull nose. First click on power and look at this thing. There is no product uh, placement, guys. So I'm sure you're thinking that there's not. I just I thought it looked cool. And let's see if it works. But apparently it does work. So, all right, let's see how easy it is to straighten this thing out. It's one click. going to get mid sixes there's nowhere around it so we're only talking 50 cc's 2.0 we're using 100 percent of the power two blade prop and no weed entanglement zero and we have the skeg on the back too so we're not slowing down
guys so here we are back getting ready to clean everything and um engine ran like a champ as usual so what's the what's the deal with this um it definitely doesn't cause any more drag and i will tell you i was pleasantly surprised on the big currents that i could use that just to turn the back end of the boat i mean the bull nose rudder works no doubt um i did think it was going to slow it down did not i think my issue that i need to bring the tilt up a little bit but um that did the job and it turned extremely well with it um, definitely moved the nose around much sharper immediately felt that when I was driving it don't need to you push it this hard with the propulsion um, to turn that is so yeah it's staying on I'm gonna keep using it and it hasn't hung up on any weed you know which is a good thing so there you are it's a success this thing works um, you're not gonna get more speed out of it but the whole point was to be able to turn sharp and uh, use minimal propulsion to be able to turn the f and flip the nose around, and boy, it worked. So there you go. All right, guys, that was a plus today. Thanks for watching.